Hey Simmers, I'm back with my speed build video. Uh, this is part three of a five part uh, speed build. I think my next speed builds, I'll not do such a huge giant lot like this. <laughs> so here we begin back right where we kind of left off working on the uh, workshop building. Uh, what I finally decided to do within it is it has uh, woodworking benches and flower arranging uh, booths. I decided th that so that um, it would be like the whole crafting area where they can go build things, recycle things, make juices, make candles, make objects, make flower arrangements, stuff that they can sell and all that over here in the market area. These things I just put in allow you, allow if you don't play the game that much to uh, sell paintings. I figured I wanted to put up some more lighting. Uh, eventually I come to the realization I can use the Christmas decoration lighting. So we put a bunch of walls in and then we stick up. I eventually make the thing a little bit bigger because I want to keep it an even number. It, to me it looks wonderful. I did do, um, tried to record this yesterday, but I figure I have to, figured out when I do the compressed videos, I actually have to close the program I use to do the videos and reopen it because if I compress it like turn it from like the 15 minute hour long video down to well in this case 17 minutes uh, if I don't close and reopen it plays at the hundreds at the normal speed so when I tried to record it I was at like 40 minutes I didn't feel like it was right so I learned something uh, the next spot we work on once we put lights in this place is the house that I'm going to say is my favorite house in the entire lot which is this one over the one that's just over there that's incomplete right at the moment this one I, I thought it turned out so nice like I love it this house and how it turned out other than the bathroom the bathroom I think is small I love these windows because you can kind of treat them like a shelf the layout I came out with came up with is it's uh, kitchen uh, dining room living room open space and the upstairs has the bathroom and the bedroom I I don't know why I keep doing that I put the counters out that you put the uh, stools at and then I always put the ball. I even did that in the build that I'm working on for Monday's uh, tour build. Uh, this has the, as I was building it, I came up with an idea that this is a gay couple who really loves plants. You'll eventually see tons of planters outside and tons of plants on the inside. Laying this out upstairs was painful. Though it worked out nice, that little spot there in the corner becomes the shower area. I didn't realize until watching the video back that I never did match those, those windows to the rest of the uh, wood tones in the windows. that are on like the rest of the, the house because you can see I use a lot I use wood colors and those ones are up there are white yeah. and yes we have another bedroom that has tons of windows in it I do love these windows that I just put in the corner. Uh, 
how they call the, the wood tones of the uh, kitchen. Figuring out the bathroom, the outside, I tried to use a few ideas. Uh, I love those tiny, I think those come from Tiny Living, I love them. Uh, just like all the other houses on, in here, including the other one that you'll see in one of the later videos, there's no television. I figure they get their entertainment from books, gardening, painting, all those different. Different things. I'm trying to figure out what to stick on walls and all that. Eventually you'll see tons of paintings. Here comes the first set of planters. I decided to, decided to do that and kind of just close that in. Finally got a bookcase that I like that fit under the stairs. I was trying to use as much of the space as I could. Uh, again, I'm going to complain about the in fact, it's so hard to get matching furniture items because sometimes the wood tones are just slightly different, like the browns are slightly different, or the greens, it's a pain in the butt. But so one thing I did like about The Sims 3 and the color wheel, so you could set one color and you could use it on multiple objects, so you could have furniture that actually matched. You wouldn't know that if you looked at my actual real house. <laughs> Eventually we start seeing me put up a bunch of uh, plants in that. Uh, my idea is those are, yes, they're plants, but in my head they're her uh, fresh herbs. I start pulling out stuff that I want to put on the counters. And you'll start seeing me starting to stick stuff into the windowsills. And uh, yes, I do fit those, those uh, pumpkins and gourds into the windowsills. Looking for more decorations, trying to get everything. And I found all these different fruit bowls and stuff, so I'm like, oh, let's just stick them all in, let's put them in, put them in. <laughs> Looking at it now, I probably should have used the lighter wood for the cutting board, for the knife block. That one kind of just blends in. And before anyone yells, uh, eventually I do get a garbage, get a bin, garbage bin, in, into this. Yeah, uh, while the building's on this entire speed build in this lot, this is the house I enjoy the most. Maybe it's all the plans, maybe it's the layout. There, as I see something that I w wanted to put in a different part of the house, I'll grab it and put it up because I don't want to go through the catalog trying to find things all over again. I know there was another one, so I had to go find it. The only thing I didn't put in is was a grate of garlic, which I should have. But <laughs> yeah, this is where I start with all the plants on the windowsills. <laughs> the goal was to try to not have any duplicate plant plants. Uh, I end up doing it once, where I used the same plant I used in the window on the dining room table, but. 
Okay. Getting all this in, trying to pick plants that fit. Because some plants, some of the larger ones have huge overhangs, which make it so you can't put them in the windows. They don't even really fit in corners because they hang, hang over. I wish it was in the code that if it hits the wall, it's that it'd clip, it'd clip it off. And that when you move it back out, it reappears. But, eh, gotta go with what you can. I'm trying to figure out what else to put under the stairs was a bit of a pain in the butt. Eventually, I just decided to go with, guess what? Plants. Here's a good example where I can't, where the pictures have all different colored frames and I would rather them all been the same thing. Here we go with all more plants. Can never have enough plants. Think about it now, I might have overdid it just a teeny weeny little bit on the uh, on the uh, planters. Well, at least we know they get fresh fruit. I do this just to see if, how bright the rooms are. I do believe that I tend to use the stuff from uh, Spotty a lot for the bathroom uh, floors and walls. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I like how they look. I figured it was a nice, quaint bathroom. One of the things I realized while watching the playback is how many when I go to set stuff in front of the mirrors I use the mirror to judge the distance Because they're raised up, they have they take a little bit more space. That's why I had to use the smaller window. Look, somebody else is green that has plants on it. Hmm. Wonder if these people like plants. Uh, the one ch change I'd probably do if I was to go back in and do edit is I'd look through all the wall lights and see if I could find any that I can stick just above those end tables. To make them look like uh, lights built into the wall over the end tables. As you can see, more green! And I carry the green theme out onto the balcony with these nice wicker chairs. Originally, I had the couch facing the window, and I was like, no, 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 let's not have them looking into their bedroom. I figure that these are the ones, they take kind of look after the huge garden that you'll be, that I'll be putting in uh, next. And I mean, huge garden, I mean, it's quite huge. See what I mean? Those windows should be a dark brown. Now, over in this large space, with it being fast forward, it's not, it's tedious, but it's not as tedious as what it was doing it. Because whenever I try to draw a straight line while doing this, they can end up curving and getting messed up. So here I just do space by space. And this is the huge garden where they grow like all their food. Like I, like I said, this idea was from 
the smoggies and this is supposed to be like a sun sun tot environmentally friendly um, community where they do a lot of recycling a lot of stuff gr growing stuff on their own making their own stuff uh, when we get the knitting pack in the future I might go back and add some knitting stuff into one of the houses so it looks like they make their own clothing as well and when I said it was a big garden I wasn't joking I start working on the pond which is where we'll be ending the video in a bit and the start of the next video pretty much because I just stop the recording and restart it so the next one's literally just going to start right on the working of the uh working on the pond i think i did that and Oh yeah, I, I tell you, did I actually leave it? I might have. Yeah. This will be what a lot of the first part of the next video, and I'm sorry for the creaking chair. It is me just sticking stones and stuff around the edges of the pond just to fill it in. So until Monday and my build tour. Have a good weekend and susu. -soo.